I haven't looked at my score or anything like that, so I am going to open up my laptop and check it out. What's up? So, just had my test earlier today, passed my test, but as you can tell from the title of this video, I will be taking mock boards. So that will go uh, tomorrow's Thursday, so from 8 to 5 tomorrow, and then from 8 to 12 on Friday. So I thought I would bring you guys along and uh, just kind of talk through my experience taking these mock boards. Honestly, I have absolutely zero expectation of doing well. I haven't been studying, so I have a very low bar set for myself. Honestly, I'm mostly just hoping to find out what I will need to do so that I can sign up and take the boards with the permission of my school because they have to approve you to take the boards. You have to apply and then they approve you. So I don't know exactly what they're expecting of us in that process. So hopefully we find some more of that information out tomorrow. But they sent us a PowerPoint uh, for some preparation as far as taking the mock boards tomorrow. So I'm just gonna read through that PowerPoint tonight and then I'll catch up with you tomorrow. All right, it is Thursday morning and I am driving to school to go start our mock boards. So I kind of wanted to explain the boards have changed, you probably know this. It used to be a two-part test, but they changed it to a one-part test for a couple of reasons. So the first reason was they just kind of felt like students taking two different chunks of time out of their schooling to focus on studying for these exams was I don't want to say pointless, but I guess it was a little more distracting than they wanted it to be. And the second reason that they made this change is because they wanted to create a test that was much less about memorization of rope facts and more an application of the sciences that we learned throughout dental school and applying it to clinical settings. So that's why they changed from the part one and part two exams to the integrated boards. And other than that, I don't really know what to expect for today because they've told us very, very little. Well, gonna head inside and I think the first two sections which will take before lunch, are each 100 questions. So 200 questions before lunch, 200 questions after. And then I think maybe another one or 200 questions tomorrow. But wish me luck. I will need every ounce of luck possible to have any chance of doing reasonably well. But that's okay. Just gonna see where we're at and see what topics and subjects I need to focus on as I start to study and prepare for these boards. I just finished up the first four sections. So it's 11.30. Yeah, pretty easy to take a test when you are guessing a bunch of it. So I am reading all of the questions. I'm not just clicking through. I'm trying my best to answer the questions that I know or recognize. So it's going. I think I'll be able to finish today and then I won't have to come in tomorrow maybe. We'll see what they say. But that's where I'm at, just waiting for lunch. Okay. 
I just finished the last two sections of the mock board exam. It's the Kaplan exam, if you care, but I haven't looked at my score or anything like that, so I am going to open up my laptop and check it out. See how bad I did. I got a 48%. So you can see overall correct, 48%. And it has a breakdown of the number correct and incorrect. I wasn't expecting this, but it shows you the answer changes. So if you change your answer from correct to incorrect, incorrect to correct, or incorrect to incorrect. So I actually changed a decent amount of answers from correct to incorrect, which stinks but I don't know how many of those were guesses or things like that. Incorrect to correct, 42 questions, which is great. So happy about that. And then it has a breakdown of each of the sections. So endo, operative, oral and maxillofacial, surgery and pain control, oral pathology, ortho and peds, patient management, periodontics, pharmacology, and prosthodontics. Overall, can't complain. I mean, 48%, uh, about what I expected, probably. I don't even know what I was expecting, but now I can take this and put together a study plan so that I can prepare well for the boards. So I do better than 48% on the actual boards. I won't be filming anything tomorrow, and yeah, hopefully you found this interesting just to see a little bit more about the boards and what I'm doing in dental school.